After fleeing to Jordan from Syria in the middle of the night in 2012 and going through a nearly four-year screening process after that, the al Tabawi family found themselves in the United States via South Patterson in November. This week, they're in the middle of a U.S.-style press conference, slightly taken aback, but impressed. Their translator is Mahmoud Mahmoud of Church World Service, which helped to resettle the family here. This is the first time that we're sitting with this, you know, amount of journalists and we're sitting with people in positions of power. Congressman Bill Pascrell wanted to put a face to the issue that countries throughout Europe and North America are facing. Murad, his wife Ola, eight months pregnant, and three-year-old Rama fled southern Syria as the civil war intensified, walking three hours across the desert in the middle of the night. Their aim? safety for the children first, with a dream of landing in the United States, knowing that they might never see their homeland again. It was one of the most difficult decisions of my life. It's tough to take that decision to say, you're going to leave your home country for good and never look back. But it's a decision that I was forced to make. I had no choice. I did it for my children and for my family. You live where I used to live. And my sister still lives there in the house that I grew up in. Church World Service is a resettlement agency with 33 offices across the United States. They help settle refugees from around the world after they arrive in the U.S. Helping with mountains of paperwork is just the beginning. They find an apartment for a family. They move the furniture into the apartment for the first time. They put food in the refrigerator. They pick up the family from the airport, bring them into their new apartment, into their new lives, hand over the keys enroll their children into schools, the children into daycare, find jobs for the adults, and getting their lives started for the first time so that they can become productive and active citizens. And not the terror threats that some have made them all out to be, including one of the most strident voices in the refugee debate. What do they think of Donald Trump's words? It's really unfortunate that these things are being said. Um, people who are fleeing from their country, they're not looking to make problems in another country. They're fleeing for a purpose because they themselves were being terrorized and facing problems and persecution. Um, so it's really unfortunate that not only Donald Trump, but all of these people are saying these things. And that's a lot of diplomacy from someone whose very presence here has been the subject of such heated debate. In Patterson, I'm David Cruz, NJTV News.